Brittany in uh, Anaheim, California. Hi, Brittany. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Uh, hi, Leo. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Good, thank you. Um, I actually have a question for you. So, uh, regarding battery drainage. So, Good. I'm a huge Apple fan. Okay. Um, I have the um, the 7S Plus. Nice. 7S Isn't it beautiful? The most beautiful phone, I have to say. Yes, it is amazing. Um, my fiance has the um, Samsung uh, Edge. So he's well, an Android person. What are you going to do? You're a, you're a mixed family. I'm sorry. Yes. yes. <laughs> so we've actually both been having some issues with the um, battery just draining a lot quicker. Yeah. I know he, he's had more issues than I have, and I've had an Apple since, you know, the very first, you know, iPhone ever came out. I've never experienced issues with it. Have you heard anything? Yeah. As so far as the, the battery. Yeah. So you have probably one of the best phones for battery life, the Seven Plus. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the reasons it's good is because it's big, you know. So there's more mm -hmm. room for battery, but also because Apple's very aggressive uh, about controlling the applications on the phone. They shut down back background applications very quickly. You know, one, the, the way your battery drains, obviously, is an application running, doing something. And the worst kind of uh, application will run in the background. Now, Android is a little less aggressive about that, although they've gotten better and better at shutting down background applications. But what you'll find, if suddenly, you, you know, you had a phone that had great battery life, and then for some reason this week it's been terrible is mm -hmm. there's probably an ill-behaved application. Gotcha. And it is sucking the juice out of your battery. Now, again, Apple's pretty good about shutting these down and preventing ill-behaved applications from draining the battery, but that doesn't mean it can't still do it. For instance, Facebook is, is a notorious culprit for this. Mm -hmm. Facebook is a big battery hog. And because people are always looking at Facebook, even if Apple shuts it down after a few minutes, you open it up again, it's still going to drain your battery. So you, you kind of want to look for programs that are draining your battery. Both your boyfriend's phone and your phone mm -hmm. have battery life information in the settings. So if you, if you go to your settings... And and you I, and you look at the battery uh, area. It'll show you what's using your battery. Uh, in fact, I'm looking at mine right now, and Facebook, 37 percent of the battery, mm -hmm. right? So, mm -hmm. so I, you know, in my case, that's exactly what's using a lot. Then there's a game, then there's Google Photos, but it drops off very quickly. You can also look at it in the last 24 hours and the last seven days, and that's very useful to get some idea. But Apple is, as always, a little cagey about telling you exactly what's going on they may have mm -hmm. for instance they don't show any of their stuff in here they may have a system uh, tool that they've updated recently and they made a mistake in the programming and it's running away with the battery life as well so often uh turning the phone off you know rebooting it now you know that's more than just turning off the screen but it's holding down the button until it says slide to power down and then do that, and then turning it back on again. That will clear out anything that's that's lying in the background. That sometimes helps. Uh, yeah. you, if you think you have an app that is using an abnormal amount of battery, try uninstalling it and, and see if that makes it a big difference. The 7 Plus also, like all phones, will drain faster in a weak cell area so you're used to the battery life you get in when you're home and at work you know the places yeah. you go all the time but when you travel uh you might go somewhere where your carrier signal isn't as strong and your phone spends more time hunting for it that's a notorious battery drain in fact the radios in your phone bluetooth the gps the the, the cell radio uh, and the data radio, those things are the biggest battery drains. So you want to look for unusual situations there. Maybe a tower went out in your town, and so your phone's working harder to get the signal. Uh, did you un download an unusual amount of data? Did you, for instance, put all your music on your phone? That'll, that'll cause a greater drain. Sometimes it's something gone wrong with the phone, you know, but generally it's something temporary going on. Is there also, um, and I and I hear this, so I want to ask your opinion, when you, kind of a, I don't know if this is a myth or not, but if your phone's charged or you leave it charged overnight, that you can overcharge it? Nope, is that true? that's a myth. Okay. So the good news is, especially with a well-made phone like your Samsung and your Apple phones, those have mm -hmm. circuitry to prevent overcharging. 
In fact, the, on the only thing that's dangerous on your phone is draining the battery fully, like completely draining it. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, there's circuitry to kind of prevent that on both the iPhone and the Samsung phone. In general, though, if you're not, you know, if you're near a plug, plug it in. It's always best to keep your phone charging at all times. Nothing wrong with charging it. Okay. Uh, the, all right. You know, so it's, you know, it's, it's kind of a mystery. You have to just do a little detective work to figure out why the battery is draining. Uh, but you have the, you know, this iPhone 7 Plus, you have the Plus, right? Yes, yeah. I, I love it. And yeah. The camera is amazing. Everything about it is amazing. Great phone. And it, sh and it should go all day easily. But as I said, for instance, I was just visiting my son in Boulder and it didn't go all day. I got down to about 30 or 20 percent at 6 p.m., which is very unusual for me. And that's because mm -hmm. I was in a new area and I was driving around a lot and it was hunting a lot for the signal. But in my when I, my normal use, this thing will go easily get me uh, through the day with 60 percent left. No problem at all. So Samsung's very similar. Look at the Samsung. Yeah. I mean, Android isn't as good at, at shutting stuff down. But yeah, Samsung also has in the settings battery information on android devices you can install third-party programs like gsam that'll tell you even more gsam is great leo laporte the tech guy